Our elementary teacher of the year is from Hull Elementary School. Wow. Mandy Lauer. Mandy has been a teacher for 10 years and six of those years at Nay Elementary, and she's starting her fourth year at Polk Elementary. Uh, her son just graduated from Brazoswood High School, and she has two daughters who are juniors at Brazoswood High School. Mandy taught fourth grade at Polk last year, and this year she is going to be the campus librarian. And so we know as a campus librarian, she will now have the opportunity to have a positive impact on every student in that school. All right, good morning. We doing okay? All right. So the path that all of us took to be sitting in this room right now looks different for everybody. And I'll be honest, I did not grow up dreaming of being a teacher. In fact, I did not even begin my teaching career until I was almost 40 years old. I know I don't look a day over that now. <laughs> but although my path was unconventional, God had a plan for me that changed my life completely. You see, what happened was I brought my daughter home from Haiti two weeks before school started. And she did not know any English. She did not even know the culture. And I sat across the table from two teachers, a first grade teacher and an ESL teacher. And I was explaining our situation and they looked at me with confidence and somehow they managed to have a smile on their face. And they said, she's gonna be fine, send her to school. And although extremely apprehensive, I said, okay, and I sent my daughter off to school on the first day. By Christmas, my daughter understood English, and by May, she could speak fluent English and was reading on grade level. You guys, those teachers, those teachers completely were instrumental in my daughter's life, but they changed my whole perspective and the impact that teachers could have, not only on students, but on families. See, working in education, you guys, it's so much more than a job. It's an ongoing investment in the lives of kids, some of which desire our time, some of which despise our time. Ours is a job where you can have routine and yet every day can look completely different. Teaching is a job where you can have a detailed lesson plan with our objectives and our teaks all lined up, and yet our students' needs academically and emotionally, they won't fit in that spreadsheet. Our jobs can be overwhelming and all-encompassing. See, today I need you to figure out, to be in education, are you called? Do you feel called? See, if I could just share one thing today with each of you, I would say give yourself a tremendous amount of grace. People are always going to ask more of you than you are capable of giving. Our work is never complete or finished. We can feel successful one day and like complete failures the next. As educators, we live in this world of self-doubt. Did I do enough? Did I present enough? Did I listen to that student enough? Why didn't I catch that was going on on my campus? How did I not know that that student felt that way? Did I respond to that email enough? Will this parent understand? Will my um, administration support me? See, the question is, they go on and on and on, and we live with these doubts, veteran teachers and new hires alike. The question you have to answer is, are you called to be in education? And if you believe that you're called to be in education, go all in. If you believe that God has called you into the profession, then I ask you to please invest in the lives of our students. You won't have all the answers academically or in life, but consistently showing up and investing in the lives of our students in your class is exactly what our people need today. They need to be shown positive role models, work, hard work, integrity, treating our colleagues with respect. They need to be shown tough love, 
and unconditional love. Will you be the best role model for our students that you are called to be? Do you live a life that you want your students to model in the classroom and outside of our school walls? Y'all, education is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Investments take time. You may never see the impact that you make on the lives of your students. See, the teachers that sat across from me that day so long ago, see, they never got to see my daughter grow up. They never got to know how she continued to excel in school and the confidence that they instilled in her. But now Gigi, she's a junior at Brazoswood. And I am forever grateful for the teachers and the coaches that continue to invest in her growth. That girl is full of dreams. But we don't do this job for the accolades. Yeah, most of what we do will go unnoticed. But you, my colleagues, you have more than a job. You have a deep calling. And if you said yes to this world of education, I'm incredibly thankful for you. Thank you for investing in the lives of our students and our future. We need you more, probably more now than ever before. You are not going to feel appreciated every day, but you are called. Called to invest on the exciting days that go exactly as planned and called on the days that are so incredibly difficult. Invest well. Called means called. And thank you for answering the call. Because what you do, it matters. Thank you.